हेलो फ्रेंड्स होप यू आर डूइंग वेल सो वेलकम टू दी सीरीज ऑफ ए डब्ल्यू सोल्यूशन आर्किटेक्ट एसोसिएट दिस इज अ पार्ट ऑफ अवर सेम सीरीज नाउ वी हैव ऑलरेडी कंप्लीट इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट आई एम एंड वी पी सी नाउ द फोर्थ टॉपिक इज एमेजोन इलास्टिक कंप्यूट क्लाउड सो वेन यू टॉक अबाउट द ई सी टू it is a one of the service or core service which introduced by amazon at very early stage of its uh, impl uh, implementation and uh, we can say it, it is a one of the core service or maximum uh, usage uh, service by the customer so also we can consider uh, this is a core part of the amazon uh, solution architect associate so let's start with ec2 So in this, uh, this is again introduction uh, part of the EC two. So we'll uh, complete uh, conclude what are the topics which are going to uh, seen with this uh, series of EC two. Again, it include multiple videos. So let's start with is introduction. What is EC two? Uh, EC two facts, components, AMI, EC two type. instance type aws marketplace and ec2 purchase types so uh, introduction of ec2 uh, as we can consider ec2 is a sort form of elastic compute cloud is a web service that provides a secure resizable compute capacity in the cloud so as we uh, in uh, classic version or the you can say or uh, we we set up a virtual machine on any platform like uh, hyper v or esxi or any like uh, oracle virtualization we create a virtual machine it is a classic version of the ec2 instance so we can consider a virtual machine but in term of the cloud access reliable scalable infrastructure on demand when we talk about on demand whenever we require we can create and we don't we remove or terminate scale capacity within a minute with sla commitment of 99.99% availability why we um, generally like to prefer uh, aws because of its highly available or we can say the the sla the service level agreement uh, is uh, so much design um, in term of 99.99 so whenever we require the help of uh, from the aws they are ready to provide us complete control on your computing resource you have fully control you whatever you want operating system whatever you required the resources uh, the location you have full control over your resources now ec2 facts what are the facts that we need to be consider while before implementing the ec2 scale capacity as your computing requirement changes you can scale for example i have set up a two core cpu 4 gb ram of instance now um, i need to increase my instance type from 2 to 4 8 uh, 4 cpu and 8 gb ram so instantly with having the limited downtime i can increase if we compare it with the classic version of the implementation like physical um, implementation of infrastructure we need to have uh, buy a cpu or, or we need to set uh, by new instance uh, or we need to upgrade if we want to upgrade the ram we need to have more downtime if we compare to cloud computing pay only for the capacity that you actually use uh it, it consider as pay as you go whatever the instance type that you buy you need to pay for that only choose operating system as per your requirement you can there are numerous uh, of uh, numerous uh, operating system available with the amazon so you can use your uh, uh, operating system as per your requirement deploy across the aws region and availability zone for reliability again if we compare with the classic version uh, for example if i have the data center in uh, for example us location physical uh, 
and I try to uh, deploy an application if I try to access from India or any uh, uh, Asian countries the latency or the connectivity is little bit slow as compared to the person who are in US location they fail, uh, they got a true latency as compared to the Asian coordinate so whenever we set up the EC2 instance in any of the region we have options to select the region, right region where we can set up the instance on our requirement EC2 components, these are the components uh, as I say it is a core part and it is a vast service like there are lots of components are being used under EC2 these are the list of the uh, very uh, components like EC instance, AMI instance type, key pair, storage volume, EBS volume, region, availability zone, elastic IP, tag and VPC. So these are the components we can consider for EC2 and we create uh, uh, each video on each topic so we can consider com conclude all these topics with our further series. So what is AMI? So let's start with the uh, core part uh, like whenever we set up uh, in classic version whenever we try to set up a new uh, machine a physical machine we require to have operating system uh, whether we can boot using CD, DVD or the uh, uh, USB or any network installation we require a source code for the image or we can say the operating system so here we have the uh, concept called AMI Amazon machine image for example if uh, Amazon uh, required Ubuntu then it having the multiple option Ubuntu 22, 18, 20, 16 if you want set up with Windows Server then we have multiple option 22, 19, 16 etc so here we can consider AMI as an operating system or we can say Amazon machine image so select an AMI based on the region each region consists uh, a different AMI each AMI having a unique number called AMI ID which is uh, not repetitive with the different region for example if one number is associated with one e AMI on US, US uh, region that will not replicate on the Asia Mumbai region or any uh, UAE region or Bahrain region never so AMI host computer and instances you can use same AMI with multiple instances operating system architecture 32 or 64 where we have the option called 3264 launch permissions storage and the root devices uh, there are two types of device or uh, root uh, storage one is temporary which is also known as instance type device it again we can consider a temporary storage whenever the instance launch it associated with the instance whenever instance is terminated or shut down automatically that storage is wide now we talk about the instance type so what is instance type for example uh, as I mentioned earlier I need to have two CPU and four GB RAM then I have some uh, instance type called T2 micro, T2 medium, T2. So what is instance type and what are the different options in instance family? So if we talk about the general purpose, we, when we require to institute instance on general purpose, we do have T2, M4, M3. Use cases, low traffic website, web application, small database and mid-size database. C for compute. M for R or we can say M storage optimized data warehouse and GPU uh, that for 3D application and streaming and machine learning so whenever you uh, start your career in, in terms of the cloud computing you have um, one roles and responsibility called architecture part uh, as client is when a client comes to you that I need this uh, in infrastructure you need to ask them their requirement 
their targeted audience, their uh, traffic in the uh, website or any web application. So according to that, you suggest your opinion on the by using any of the instance type. You can say that a database should be on compute optimized uh, family. If the application required more memory uh, optimization, then you can suggest them R or we can say M type. If the required storage optimization, if any 3D or mobile application is there, then you can consider G2. Apart from this family, there are lots of options available. You can check with the AWS instance. We will uh, uh, we'll see in this when we launch first instance. So Amazon EC2 instance, how it works. So first it starts with AMI, we require to have co-operating system. Running or soft instance, it is similar to our uh, classic version of virtual machine. We can stop start. First it surrounded with VPC. As we all already learned VPC, virtual private cloud, a network of our um, local infrastructure. We have multiple instance, uh, private and subnet public. We can set up a snapshots or we can set up a disk. Disk here consider as EBS, elastic block storage. If you want uh, multiple uh, disk on C drive, D drive, if I come talk with Windows or Microsoft platform, if I come conclude with a open source like Ubuntu or Red Hat then we can manage a, that disk using slash OPT or slash data or slash backup any of the storage so when we called about the external storage we need to uh, use EBS elastic block storage here there is option of AZ availability zone this is one uh, availability zone this is the second availability zone and um, availability zone within region as we already learned about region and availability zone i can create an instance within availability zone or uh, across the availability zone s3 again uh, action uh, one service of amazon um, will will set up a one uh, video on separately on the s3 it is again a vast topic so this is the Amazon EC2 instance um, uh, kind diagram. Uh, apart from operating system, we do have a marketplace uh, in AWS where we can have ready-made software with different categories. Uh, so like enable success in the cloud with software access across the, your technology stack which called AWS marketplace. So here we do have some categories, business intelligence, media, DevOps, security, open source operating system, database, network and storage and many more. There are numerous number of uh, ready-made solutions uh, for all these categories. Like for example, if you want to set up antivirus, we do have my, uh, Trend Micro, uh, then we, if you want to set up a, one security gateway, we do have checkpoint and uh, so forth uh, work marketplace. If you want backup technologies, then DevOps technologies, business intelligence. Then the ready-made solutions are available with marketplace. We need to pay uh, according to that charges. Here are the some of the true or we can say the leading marketplace uh, technologies where you can find Cisco, Amapar, Coni, Palo Alto, F5, Trend Micro, Zen. There are numerous uh, marketplace available. We need to just pay for directly. We don't require to set up manually. If we talk about the classic version, we need to set up operating system. Then we need to set up, for example, SAP, Barracuda, Docker. The, this, this is the ready-made solution you just need to select and use it that's why it's called marketplace now uh, we talk about the purchase type how this purchase type uh, is working this first one is on demand uh, pay by hour uh, whatever requirement uh, the no, uh, scopes or uh, the instance that you require uh, you need to pay on demand 
pay by hour what are the hour that you uh, saw for uh, the instance you need to pay for same second one is reserved instance purchase the significant discount instance are available for example one to one to three years uh, you can buy one thing uh, instance for reserve instance for one to three years um, whenever you required to release you can third one is schedule instance you can have uh, after one year you can uh, re uh, reserve instance for one year spot the bidder type whatever you bid you can get the spot in uh, discount and last one is dedicated you can have the physical host and dedicated run on the instances where you can bring your uh, socket vm core on the location but it having the additional cost so these are the option for purchasing option and thank you so this is the introductory part of the uh, ec2 will uh, come with the multiple videos on each topic which we have discussed on this like the instance the marketplace eba storage all the things so keep uh, stay tuned for the next videos keep subscribe the channel and thank you thank you very much